everybody. This is the Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. I am in my T21 here in Fiery Salient. Encounter mode, south spawn. No artillery in this game. Lots of mediums. Uh, enemy team, we each have two scouts. Enemy team has three TDs, two heavies, rest are mediums. Whereas we have one TD, one, two, three, four heavies, and the rest are mediums. We have more heavies could be could be good if there's a, a hill fight up here and our heavies go there we should dominate over there but for the rest of the battlefield they may have a slight advantage mobility wise I'm running off to try to spot the one two lines I'm not looking to go all the way up to E1 right from the beginning if the uh, enemy scouts started off over on this side of their spawn, they're going to be able to beat me there. So I'm looking to pull it straight ahead into this bush that I'm headed for. And hopefully I can catch any enemy scout moving into E1 bush and expose them as they move south. And there they go, 1390. Let's hope our snipers can hit shots. Perfect. So with the T-37 over here, we should have a view range advantage, a view vision control advantage on the west flank. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of tanks over here to snipe and I start getting targets, so hopefully the red dots attract more predators on my team. We have a strong position on the hill over watching Cap. Our T-54 decides he's going to run up to the north. I was wanting to wait until that T-44 was dead before I did that, but with all the mediums starting to move north, it makes sense for me to move with them. They're ganging up on the T-44, so I'm going to start looking more to the north. Let's see if I have a shot on this guy. Sniping opportunity, dead. Lots of targets. So I switch from providing spots to take advantage of them because of the position of the battlefield. Enemy armor is damaged. Switch over to APCR to from shooting at them thicker portions of armor on these tanks. So it's more now I'm going to move to the north, finish clearing out this area, make sure there's nothing hiding up here. Yet. Huge lead in the battle, 8 to 1. It's already over except for just cleaning up what's left right now. Enemy armor is hit. 
Press on to the east. Find more tanks. You know you're going to see some people up here, so go spot them. All those mediums are going to be just waiting to fire at more targets. Down to just the two TDs, there's one nice up on top of the hill where everybody can see. No, don't shoot me, I don't want to die. Yay, thank you. RHM went over the ridge, so I don't have to worry about him shooting me for the moment, so I can concentrate on the T-30. And now it's time to go take out the RHM and help me. Oh, he died. So for this battle, I end up <clears throat> 1,907 points of damage in one kill, 26 of 34 shooting at 76%. 4,643 assisted damage with six spots. I actually earned 778 credits because I fired more AP than APCR and got a lot of spotting damage. Survived the fight and was awarded 2,400 XP. Then just got fire for effect and spotter mini medals. It gives me a ninth place battle score of 2,420. So I, I start off realizing because of my tank speed, I'm probably not going to be able to make it E1 without being detected. So I even bother doing that. I just pulled up into this bush, set up, was able to spot the enemy 1390 trying to go to E1, and he died before he could get away. Immediate advantage us. The T37 was over here, so I knew that we would have a vision control advantage along the 1-2 uh, the corridor. And we got a couple other kills. The T-54 started pushing it to the north. I really wanted to wait until the T-44 was dead before I moved north because a lot of times you jump the gun there as you move north. One of these tanks over in here spot you, and as soon as you're exposed, you're dead, and there goes the scout advantage that you had. <clears throat> but because several mediums were moving together, I decided to join them and ended up in a really nice situation where I was about right in here and got to shoot into the various enemy tanks over toward the middle of the map and uh, kind of reversed roles. A medium ended up spotting for me instead of the other way around. <coughs> Moved farther to the north, helped take out the uh, the medium sitting up here on the crossing. And then it's just a matter of race over here and try to get more spots for my team as we clean up what little was left of the enemy team. Very little resistance. We won 15 to 3. When you start off a battle like this, especially in proc and fiery salient, standard and encounter, it doesn't matter. It plays the same almost. When you're from the south spawn especially, because you have a little bit farther to go, <clears throat> you have a little bit more open terrain over here to traverse to get to E1. If the enemy scouts are faster than you, you shouldn't even try to go there. Unless, as you're progressing to the north, you can see they're over here somewhere and you're not going to be in a race to get to E1, it's better to target this bush right in here. Get there and hopefully you can spot the enemy scout just as he gets into E1 and either push him back or get him killed right away. And that gives you much firmer grasp on your control of the uh, west side of the map. And then you just stick with your team. A lot of times you're going to run out ahead at the end when you start pushing forward as long as they're moving you run out ahead and spot and count on them to kill tanks as you see them. In this case, two of the mediums chugged on ahead. And uh, I went kind of just right behind them and was able to snipe as I went before I pushed on ahead and tried to scout more to the north. And it ends up translating into a hugely easy victory. That one initial kill on the 1390 is what flipped the switch on and the enemy could never recover. It let us run our offense to perfection and just roll them up. Sometimes one little decision right at the beginning of the battle. It's only a one take advantage at first. But when you kill off the best enemy scout on a scout map. 
you've given your team a huge advantage. So be aware of the opportunities to do that when you start battles. From Fiery Salient, happy hunting.